And we'll go next to Karen Bryant at MMA Heat. Thank you for taking the call. I've got a couple of questions. First one is for you, Quentin. Um, a lot of people kind of thought we were getting punked with the talk of Roy Jones, and I know you and I have talked over the years a lot about your desire to box. So how close to reality was that? And, you know, is that something that you and specifically Roy think you can come back around to after the Tito fight? Honestly, I think Tito fucked up that fight. <laughs> I, I, The whole time I was getting ready to prepare for um, Jones, I, you know, I, I was going to get down to uh, 200 pounds. I was... I already setting up a um, boxing camp and everything. Then when Tito signed to Bellator, I was like, "Damn, there go my my Roy Jones fight." But I, I think, um, I you know, I think that the uh, Jones fight will uh, will come around eventually uh, after Tito and I fight. You know, if everything's uh, go according to plan and everything, uh, I'm, I'm sure um, that's a fight that'll happen because uh, Jones is very interested in in, in fighting me. Well, well, that's good, but there's nobody else that you would consider if, if Roy doesn't work out? Because certainly, you know, there was also talk about Roy and Anderson, and so it was Roy a specific target for, for other reasons as well? Well, it, it just came it just came down to that. Like, um, when, um, actually, when I was vociferous about leaving the UFC and I wanted to box, uh, before I even signed with Bellator, I was, I was being real. I wanted to box, because I heard uh, Kimbo Slice was out there doing some boxing and and he was doing good. I was like, hell, I'll fight. I'll box him. I just wanted to try boxing because if you think about it, I've done everything else. I've done wrestling. I've done jiu-jitsu tournaments in the beginning of, of my career. And um, I've done some uh, K K1. And I've and I've done um, MMA, apparently. And I, but boxing was the only thing that I haven't done. So I was like, man, I, I want to try it before I, before I retire. Because honestly, before Bellator come around, I was thinking about retiring because I didn't want to fight for the other company I was with. No more, so I'm like, hell, boxing is the only thing that I could do, and you know, because it was no other company out there that I really uh, was thinking about until I met me be joined, and and, uh, and and so you know, it just it just played out the way it did. But when Tito came over, he fucked all that up. <laughs> <laughs> Tito, do you have a response for that? Being the guy who put the uh, the wrench in the works, you know, um. I, I, I didn't mean to, <laughs> but I want to fight. The, I want to fight the best, you know. I mean, I come here and I fight somebody who no one knows, and all of a sudden people are like, "Oh, Tito's getting in a gimme fight." I don't want no gimme fights. My whole career, I've always fought the top five in the world. I've always been trying to be shut down, and you know, sometimes I come and I, I shut those people up, or you know, I walk away with, with a close loss. And but I've always came out and put on a show. And when I came here, I didn't want an easy fight. And it's about putting the friendship aside, as I say, and give the fans what they want to do. Our job is to fight. My job is to fight. Rampage's job is to fight. I love it. And when I have a positive environment around me, I love it even more. And I think, you know, um, business is business. And on November 2nd, it's going to be business. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm putting my poker face on, and Rampage better shuffle the right cards. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. And I just have one more question for Tito. You know, there's something kind of fun about the idea of you, uh, you and Rampage fighting, but there's also, you know, the possibility that you guys could have done it as a pro wrestling element. Like, was there ever a consideration of you guys doing it in that way and sort of recreating hyper versions of yourself and doing it as a pro wrestling match and stuff? <laughs> what? <laughs> How do you do that without pulling a punch? I don't understand that one. No. I hit with bad intentions. I know Rampage does the same thing too, so I don't think I could be a, a wrestling match. And stay tuned into well, TNA Impact. You never know what you may get. I, I wouldn't mind being a tag team with Tito on down the line once we once we learn. Wouldn't be the that. first time, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, we did it back, back in the day. Oh, no. I wouldn't mind after you know after the fight. I, I, something totally different. Listen, I, I, I want. Right, we wouldn't talk about tag team and you. You're married. Hey now, hey now. Hey, hey, when did you get here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, your, your husband here, you got on me. You know, I got to watch my mouth in front of him. <laughs> I didn't even see you there. <laughs> <laughs>